dude, like a three pounder. They're just, they're fish all over the bank, man. This is insane. All right, we are parked at the spot, baby. Charles is here. We're ready to fish. I'm bringing out just the heavy hitters. You know what? Forget the spinning combo today. Three bait casters. I'm feeling good with this weather. We power fishing, and we're gonna see how that works out. It might suck, but uh, I think I think we're gonna get on some fish pretty quick. If not. It's just one of those days. <laughs> we'll see what happens, man. We'll We're excited to be here. It's nice weather. Let's get to fishing. Why you games? I don't Guys, we found the wolf pack. There's a ton of decent sized bass over here just suspending. I'm going to try and show you guys these things. And I'm going to try and toss a fluke in here and see if they won't attack this thing. Hold on. Guys, it's been pretty crazy, but we have wore this back corner out, literally. We're staring at twos, threes. There's a lot of small ones. Dude, they're all just schooled up suspending right on the trees here. I'm gonna show you guys before we leave, because now we don't care. But they get spooked very easily, and they are all but uncatchable. We've thrown so much in here. Let me show you these guys. If we look straight down, here's a guy. See him? But yeah, there's just literally, there's, there's five bass right there suspending on that. There's literally five bass right there in that structure on that tree. And like I said, they're just not hitting, so we're gonna walk this thing around a little bit. Let's go ahead and try a new area of the pond. Look, big one's right here. Dude, like a three pounder. They're just, they're fish all over the bank, man. This is insane. No bites, baby. Guys, what's going on? Join us for day two with Charles. We're out here in Seattle, as you can see. Nah, hardly. We just have the crappy weather. It has uh, switched up on us a lot from yesterday's awesome temperatures, but there was no bite. So maybe today bad weather brings a good bite and we could be in for a treat. It's me and Devin and Charles, and uh, we're gonna try and hit this juicy little pond right behind us. It's kind of a channel. There's a couple ponds in this neighborhood we've never hit before. We're gonna try and throw some new stuff, have a little bit of fun and catch some fish for you guys. I'll see you on the water. Where the hell are you? Oh, oh I got a fish. There's a fish on. Oh no, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, yes. Oh my gosh, <laughs> got you. I think I got the first fish. I did not ha think I had a fish on it uh, until my line started swimming and I kind of crates up the slack. What is it? Got a fish, got a fish, got a fish. Oh, did you catch one? I got a fish. Oh, is it a bass? Yeah, it's a bass. Super fish. Oh, dang. Devin's on you guys. She got the first one of the vlog. Good job, babe. Heck yeah, I might come over to that pond. She's fishing way over there on this top pond. Uh, we're all just down here. Hey, she got one. Drop shot. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll, I'll, we, we might venture over. Love you, bye. All right, I got to get this Ned rig in the water. Finesse is what's hitting, boys. All right, let's get this guy back in the water. Thank you for not skunking me. I'm so excited I caught a fish. All right, slow and steady, bud. Peace. That's exciting. I'm gonna go ahead and give that credit to my my little concrete block that I found. Just cast it right out here in this open area. I mean, y'all saw the catch. I didn't even think I had a fish. I don't know, that was weird. I didn't even set the hook. So it goes to show that you don't have to know what you're doing to catch a fish. So there's that. Let's see if we can't do it again. Got the fish because I didn't know I had a fish. Oh, just Ooh. like right now. Yo, back to back. <laughs> <laughs> ah, come over here. Dang. Say what? That guy's better. Ah, that's this is bigger. She's smoking them. Oh my god! Look at all his spots. He's got those weird spots. Oh yeah, he does. Gotcha. <laughs> Sweet. So Weston made his way over. Back to back casts. I'm just going right out here in that middle. Yeah, I'm just going right out there in the middle. Did you get a bite? Take this grass. The drop shot's probably better to throw. <laughs> We're all here now. He's got those crazy weird spots. I've only seen this on a couple of fish that we've caught before out of neighborhood ponds, but I don't know, maybe down in the comments y'all can explain why they get those spots. If it's some sort of abnormality. 
That's cool. All right, let's get him back. I'm going to give that credit to my uh, concrete stepping block as well. All right, ready? One, two. Hi. <laughs> oh, Charles is on too. Is that the crawl? That's the crawl, huh? God dang. I don't want to throw the Ned rig if they're hitting the crawl. All right, I'm switching. We can't do a third time's a charm. I got to get on my concrete block. I was like, oh, my line is kind of swimming. I think I'm getting bites. I'm getting bites. Look, look. Got gotcha. Got third cast in a row. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's little, I think. Yeah. Dang. We found them, boys. You. You are smoking them. <laughs> third cast in a row. <laughs> <laughs> of the school no monsters but no they're monsters. chubbies they're chubbies and they're hungry man i'll tell you what it is it's my concrete block yeah <laughs> it's my concrete block that's exactly what it is all right ready i gotta release them at the same places i gotta catch them at the same places <laughs> <laughs> keep everything in line <laughs> I forgot I had the brakes on one yesterday from uh, that light finesse gear I was trying to toss. I need to uh, bump it up to the two setting. There we go. Y'all want to make a move? All right. Guys, we're making the first move of the day. Devin absolutely crushed it. She caught like three fish. She's behind the camera right now. Uh, all of us, we're taking the four vehicles and we're going down the street to a pond where we've caught some threes and fours and no of five pluses. This we've never hit before, but I think we got a lot of fun in store for you guys at the next one. Let's get over there. I don't want to have to re-rig right after I get here, but I think the Texas rig is going to be a little smoother than the jig through all this. It gets a little thick. Rigging up a Texas rig bandito bug today, man. It has been a while since I have thrown just a plain bandito bug instead of on a jig or anything like that. A little bit heavier weight. There's some depth to this pond. This is a 3 8 ounce weight. And uh, we're gonna get in the stuff today. So I'm throwing this to start off with. We got a couple more Okeechobee craws in the package here. Just gonna toss those in my pocket and uh, walk around this pond, see if we can't get a catch, 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 catch. And we're going with braid. I just put a little bit more line on this this morning because my uh, I got a backlash the other day, had to completely strip it down, which was fine. It was very low. I have the fluorocarbon as the backing to this. I'd say it's 30 pound braid. I don't even remember. I've had this stuff for a long time. It was just in the garage. So I got a little bit extra line, but I'm just going straight braid today. We're doing a throwback like we used to straight braid because uh, I got more line on the way, but until it gets here, I'm going to have to rock with all this. Oh, fuck. Sorry, y'all. We figured with the weather, there wouldn't be too many folks on the course. <laughs> Smooth move. Uh, not yet. We've caught some big ones out of here before, though. Yeah. Y'all fish it all, or? Awesome. Yeah, man. This is, it's produced some decent ones. Threes and fours and stuff. Uh, I know people have caught fives, but not us yet. Thank you. Might throw that drop shot again. That's probably, dude, that might be where the money's at today. It's a wise choice too. Yep. I, you, I've got a Texas rig tied on. I'm throwing an Okeechobee crawl. Yeah, do your thing. A crack, but not a crawl. They like the crawls, so. All right. I'm about to get these fish, man. I'm done with this. Oh, bites. Shit. <laughs> Almost had him. I think this is the money zone. Oh, speaking of, got him. Yo, oh, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no. He's, <laughs> what do I do? Game on. We're on the board. Oh man, all right. Oh, hit like a freight train. Look, if y'all ain't throwing Grugan baits, you ain't gonna catch nothing. It's got you thinking. Oh, wings, no, I missed them. No, I just got two solid hits. Damn. And the wind is blowing this way. 
pushes a lot of little bugs. Look, there's ducks feeding. I think all the action is on this side. And everyone just might be unaware of that yet. He's got it. All right. Oh my God. Crushing it. Drag and drop. Yeah, we dragging and dropping. Dragging and dropping. Yeah, we dragging and dropping. Dragging and dropping. Yeah, we dragging and dropping. Dragging and dropping. Time to catch some O. It's a party. Hey, babe, will you turn the camera off after that cast? You want me to start it again? I have a fish on, oh my god. I was turning the camera off. Yeah, this is a good one. Not a small one. Good fish! Hey! Woo! They opened up my spool to back up and turn the camera off. And I closed the spool on it, and I tightened it up, and it felt heavy, and this guy was on it. <laughs> and something just changed guys the sun's kind of peeking out a little bit now and all of a sudden every one of us around the pond got bites there's a couple more guys on the end there's like six of us fishing this pond bound to get some brutes and Devin pulled out the biggest one so far <laughs> crushed it this might honestly be my biggest drop shot fish Dang. That I've ever well there's bigger in here let's get them all right <laughs> All right, bud. Uh, don't even know where he went, but he's out of here. Let's go. Just got me this one right here on the drop shot. You can get anything at the last pond. I come over here, everybody is over there catching fish on the drop shot, every single body. So what I do? Switch to the drop shot, and look what happened. You're damn right I let him eat it for a while, too. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I bet. Just got hit twice. I missed him. Okay. Okay. All right, what do we got here? Tell me she's over a half pound. All right. That might be the biggest. Come over here. Took a second. Right in the top of the mouth, baby. Check him out. Nice and pale. Let's get him over here. There we go, y'all. Drag and drop pulling through at the spot right off the main road. We're having a ton of fun out here. We got a solid ah, pound and a half. He's still a little tight, but I know there's some big ones in here. Stick around, man. We about to catch them. All right, y'all, there you go. We're getting caught up in this gunky grass out there on the bottom, and we're just kind of letting it cake up. You might feel a little weight, it might feel a little heavy, just kind of leave it sitting. Pop it through that, and don't get discouraged when you feel a little bat, bit of that grass, because oftentimes it's not the actual hook getting caught on it and your uh, worm getting all grassy, but really it's just your weight working it through the bottom. And you can elevate it a little bit higher than this even if the grass comes up a little higher, and you can have this drop shot just cruising right above the top of that grass, so you can really just uh, lengthen that tag in by doing a longer Palomar knot and uh, you'll be able to stay above that grass. Now anytime I feel those double taps, I'm just setting the hook. If I feel two taps in a row, I know it's not one tap from the grass and I just got caught. It's a fish bite and it's going dump dump and so or it's grabbing it and then turning and so you feel that double tap. That's when you know to set the hook. I'm using that uh, drag and drop and he's even torn down a little bit. You can get away with using this worm for quite a while. Usually I catch five or six fish and the thing's not even torn up, but one of the last ones that kind of got caught in the line and ripped the nose off. We're still throwing it and getting fish out here. So I think Devin's is still the biggest, but we're going to change that. Uh, that that's the spot. <laughs> I see you and raise you two fish. <laughs> Drop shot. Natural. Green with a little white flash. Just letting it sit. Yeah, just chilling. Yeah, Christian's out of here. One and done. Gotta have dinner with wine. 
Beat the skunk. All right, man, y'all have a good night. Y'all wanna keep fishing here or go try that last one for 30 minutes? Devin, let's go try the one. Guys, we've been catching them out of here. No big three or fours yet. I think we're gonna make a move to one final pond before sunset. Uh, it's gonna be another new one. Today's uh, vlog is filled with a lot of new ponds, man. I'm pretty pumped, pretty excited. Let's go see what is in store at the last spot our friends just told us about recently. Ugh. It took my dragon drop. It was a good hit. It was like, boom. <laughs> one more to close things out. We're literally walking away and Devin pulls in another one on the drop shot. Cause I just got a good hit right there. And I was like, I know you're right here. I know it's here, but I don't know if this was the hit cause the cast before this, he took my dragon drop. So, so this might be the, the younger brother. Might be the little brother. But nice. these guys are little chunks. All right, so this is gonna be the last catch at this pond. We're gonna go ahead and hit one more spot, close out the video, hopefully try and get a pretty good size hog for you guys on the channel. Let's get after them. Y'all, we are creeping up to the final destination. The guys are right behind us. Devin's leading the way, and uh, we have never laid eyes on this pond before. It looks pretty juicy. It is on a golf course. And I don't think anyone's teeing off today given the weather, but could be wrong. We'll keep our eyes out. Let's get some more bass. Just had one. I had one swimming with it and I just kind of like leaned into it instead of setting it and it came out of his mouth. He swirled right in front of me. First one on a moving bait today. That was actually on the rattle trap. Pulled out this little guy. Maybe they're going after moving stuff. We're losing daylight really fast, so let's try and get a couple more before we have to close it out. Got him. Got him. All right. Yeah. Spinner bait. I was stuck in grass. Oh, this is this is a nice little ooh spinner bait gets the hogs. This thing is a football. He really is. No, oh, look at him. They're in trees. She's like telling me somebody's out there, mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, check him out. Guys, I hope you enjoyed rocking and rolling with us tonight. The last one to close out the evening is a little fatty on the zinger. And I haven't thrown the zinger very much, and I even paired it up with a 3.3 inch saucy swimmer on the back. So literally, just a well, the line's kind of tangled in it, but what a presentation, guys. This is the, sh the white and yellow Shad and Chartreuse. It's got a gold and silver Willow and Colorado blade, I believe is the, uh, the two there. And then, uh, yeah, that 3.3 inch on the back. As Soon as it hit the water, man, I kind of creeped it over a little branch that I just missed and then uh, got the bite right off the bat. Fun fight to end the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. We'll catch you on the next one. <gasps>